What up, you nerds? Fallout here, and today we're talking about hidden exotic perks in Destiny 2. For those of you lunatics out there who have been watching my content all the way back to D1, you may remember this as a topic I tackled years ago, back when my channel was just starting out and I, apparently, had zero tastes in thumbnail art. Good God. Thank the Lord my thumbnails these days are so top-notch and professional. Am I right, fellas? <clears throat> <clears throat> Anywho, we're gonna get going with hidden exotic perks in D2, but first, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Ridge. Ridge is a minimal front pocket wallet that's designed to streamline what you carry every day. It's got over 30,000 five-star reviews and is a fantastic way to carry your cash and cards. Boys, it's almost 2020. You need an old, chunky flap wallet like you need less room in your vault at the tower. The holidays are right around the corner, so hop on it and get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash fallout. That's right, ridge.com slash fallout and use code fallout. Link down below in the video description. And thanks again to Ridge for sponsoring today's content. So back to it, recently I put out a video covering a hidden exotic perk on the Skyburner's Oath exotic scout rifle. A lot of you really enjoyed that video and encouraged me to go out looking for more, and that's exactly what I did. Now before we go on, I actually want to give you an update on the Skyburner's hidden exotic perk status. The info hasn't changed, it still has no damage drop-off point, but at least now I have a better understanding as to why. This may not be wildly interesting, but I'm gonna bring it up lest I get berated by perfectionists in my own comment section. Now anyway, I was under the impression that when Skyburner was hip-fired, it's a projectile weapon, but when ADS'd, it's a hit-scan weapon. Mm. Wrong. Turns out, it's actually a 100% projectile weapon all the doodah day. It's an easy mistake to make though, right? When hip-firing, the shot travels so slowly, and when ADSing, it's worlds faster, so only natural to assume, hey, it's hitscan in ADS. But if we go all John Madden and check the slow-mo instant replay, the bullet still has travel time when ADSing, meaning it is clearly a projectile weapon all the time, no hitscan here. And of course, most projectile weapons all do the same damage over all ranges, yada yada yada, TLDR, Skyburners still has no damage falloff. So intrinsic design or hidden perk, you decide. Anyway, moving on to other weapons and armor, let's go down the list. Here's one that I've heard about forever, the Cerberus Plus One. You know how most weapons in the game experience damage fall off the further away you are from your target? Yeah, about that. Cerberus Plus One doesn't conform by your rules. It actually gets stronger the further you get away from your target. Yeah, you heard me right. That is negative damage fall off. How about that? But there is a limit though. Once you hit about 20 meters away, you'll begin to do maximum extra damage to your target in PvP, and will continue to do so, all the way up to about 49 meters away. But once you cross over that 50 meter threshold, the damage finally starts to go back down again. Weird. Now again, that is definitely a hidden perk, because nowhere on the description of that gun is that particular trait mentioned. But I want to touch on something real quick. Depending on your own definition of what a hidden perk is, some exotics have unique hidden perks, but others are just benefiting from intrinsic weapon perks. You know what I mean? No? All right, well, look here. Weapons in D2, as most of us know, have intrinsic benefits based on the type of weapon. For example, weapons in the lightweight frame family come with a natural benefit of making your guardian run faster. That's just an intrinsic perk to lightweight frame weapons in general. You're holding a lightweight frame weapon, you run quicker. Now, adding to that, many exotic weapons in D2 actually fall under specific weapon archetypes, even though it isn't actually mentioned on the weapon itself. Itself. Example, someone had reached out to me saying that Le Monarch felt like it was somehow making their guardian feel faster and it must be an exotic hidden perk. Well, as it turns out, I've determined that Le Monarch is simply 100% a member of the lightweight frame bow family, meaning that naturally, like other lightweight frame bows, such as the Vow, it just makes you run faster when you have the weapon out. Again, it's an intrinsic weapon archetype benefit by design. But I guess 
technically it isn't mentioned on the description of the weapon itself, so hidden exotic perk? Again, technically it is hidden. I'll leave it to you to decide. But on that note, I had some folks reach out to me with their proposed theories on hidden exotic perks, and some of them I thought were, in fact, just actual intrinsic perks. One example was the Sweet Business, where I had more than one person insist that your reload speed was faster when the mag was empty, which I personally chalked up to the theory that maybe the Sweet Business is just a secret member of the Rapid Fire Frame archetype, which would naturally give a faster reload on a dry mag. Turns out, it's actually not true, unless I completely missed something. I tried comparing reload speeds with just a few bullets fired and a completely empty mag, which took a while, and they seem literally identical right down to the frame. Maybe there was a stealth buff to the sweet business reload speed with the launch of Shadowkeep. It seems odd, though, that more than one person would claim that there was a faster reload speed with an empty magazine. Who knows? Either way, the takeaway here is that sweet business reloads at the same speed no matter what. Similar story for the Sunshot Hand Cannon, which I had heard gave you a similar buff that Le Monarch did, aka it's a member of the lightweight frame family. So I gave it the old who can run faster than who test, and it turns out it's not true. Sunshot does not make you any faster at all, so unsure where that rumor came from. Here's one thing that is confirmed, though, an actual hidden exotic perk found by my good friend Cool Guy. It's for the Outbreak Perfected Pulse Rifle, and by the way, props to him for finding this, because this particular hidden perk must have been pretty hard to identify. Why? Well, because it's a perk that literally doesn't even exist in the game anymore. Let me explain. When firing the Outbreak Perfected repeatedly, it feels feels almost like a laser beam. The bullets fire in a super tight grouping. Now normally you could probably chalk that up to a really good stability stat, but check it out. The gun has average stability at best. Not to mention that when firing at a wall, the first burst is usually pretty widespread. So what the frick is the deal? Well, the popular theory is that the gun has the hidden perk persistence, and for all of you OG D1 players out there, you might remember this perk. Accuracy increases as you fire the weapon. If you want to nitpick and bust balls, it could also potentially even be some form of dynamic sway reduction or something. The only thing we know for sure is that when firing the Outbreak Perfected, the more you shoot, the more accurate it gets, even if you're not damaging an enemy. Anyway, that whole Outbreak Perfected hidden perk made me think back to D1, and I wondered if maybe it was just brought over to D2 with that perk embedded in the weapon's code, seeming never changed. So I figured, hey, what if other weapons that got brought from D1 to D2 also still had hidden perks stuffed into the design of the weapon? And on that note, we come to the Suros regime. Again, way back from my D1 video, I'd figured out that you could actually fire the Suros faster by not holding down the trigger when you fired the weapon, but rather by pulse firing it in a way. And as badly as I want to tell you that it's also a thing in D2, it just isn't. Tried it a bunch of times on both firing methods on the gun in D2, and yeah, no dice. But that's why we experiment, boys and girls, because who knows what you could figure out. But enough of stuff that didn't work out. How about more stuff that we can confirm? Like the Merciless Fusion Rifle, which I'd heard on the Grapevine secretly has the perk Feeding Frenzy, aka you get a kill with a gun, and the reload speed goes way, way up. That's usually a perk only found on a select few weapons, but booyah, pay dirt, Merciless absolutely has Feeding Frenzy as a hidden perk. And of course, not listed anywhere on the weapon. Cool stuff. Kinda wish the gun was used a little bit more. Next up, sort of what we call a double whammy, the Queen Breaker's bow. Ah, you having flashbacks? That's right, this baby used to make blueberries wet their pants in Gambit. Bigger numbers in the aim assist department than you would see in Jeff Bezos' bank account. Terrible goddamn joke. Anyway, I'd heard that the Queen Breaker has inherent armor-piercing rounds, and you know what? 
confirmed. This puppy will punch a hole through multiple guardians with no problem, but here's where that double whammy factor comes in. Because not only did it turn out to be true for the Queen Breaker, but every linear fusion rifle apparently comes with armor piercing rounds. That's right, even the legendaries. I was sure that the Crooked Fang would not be able to pull this off. But no, blasted right out the backside of that guardian harder than a bag of sugar-free gummy bears. 2% of you probably know what I'm talking about right now, but keep that in mind for whatever activity. All linear fusion rifles have the hidden benefit of maximum enemy penetration. Moving on to the Mita multi-tool. This one is sort of less flashy, but IMO, more interesting. When ADSing at an enemy, your scope highlights your enemy in a perma-red outline. You know, I've been playing Destiny for a damn long time, and I guess I've noticed this, but at the same time, also not really noticed it? It doesn't give you extra damage or anything, but it certainly makes tracking targets easier in PvP. In before people in the comment section hit me with the old, wow, that's not hidden, everyone knows that. All right there, Tony Tough Nuts, pop quiz for you. The Mida isn't the only gun that has that hidden perk. You know so much? What's the other weapon? I would put in the final Jeopardy music right about now, but I can't really use it because it's copyrighted and YouTube is really finicky about that kind of stuff. But pretend it's playing. Give up? It's the Jade Rabbit. Also, we'll highlight enemies in red via the scope. And by the way, this isn't to be confused with the red full body flash that happens with any weapon when you pass over an enemy with your crosshair. I mean a full red perma outline via your weapon scope. We thought for a minute that maybe this is just a thing with all scout rifles, or even all exotic scout rifles, but no. Didn't work with any legendaries we tried, didn't even work with the Polaris Lance, but it does also work with the Ariana's Vow, strangely enough. Go figure. Anyway, moving on to the armor department, here is an easy one. The Sunbracer Gauntlets for the Warlock come equipped with the hidden perk of Fastball, aka you throw grenades noticeably farther. Again, that perk is listed nowhere on the armor itself. Here's another armor-related one. This one's a bit more complex, kind of. Take the transversive steps, warlock boots that improve your running speed, and also auto-reload your equipped weapon while running. Well, what it doesn't tell you is that the boots also improve your slide distance. Yeah, really random, I know, but they seemingly borrowed that trait from the hunter stompies, even though it isn't mentioned on the armor. Also, the transversive steps make you crouch walk faster, and I mean noticeably faster. That is some intense crab walking right there, boys. And again, not listed on the armor. So with that in mind, I figured, hey, each class has a pair of exotic boots that improve your running speed. Warlocks have transversive steps, hunters have stompies, and titans have the dune marchers. Now follow my logic here. If the transversive steps share the extra slide distance from the stompies, maybe the dune marchers do too? Turns out, yeah. They do. So follow my logic again. If all the exotic movement boots seemingly share both the extra running speed and the hidden perk of extra slide range, maybe they also all share the extra crouch walk speed from the transversive steps. And it turns out they don't. Yeah, you heard me right. They don't. You crouch walk the same speed with both the dune marchers and the stompies. For whatever reason, the transversive steps are uniquely alone in that hidden perk department. Don't look at me, man. I have no idea why that is. I'm just here to share the info. But hey, good job, Warlock on having a potentially faster crouch walk. It almost makes up for having a completely garbage melee. Getting to the end of the line here, the Lumina hand cannon when firing healing rounds can activate Benevolent Dawn on the Warlocks and Jotun can activate the perk Sun Warrior for Titans. An interesting theory turned out to be half true. Lumina does in fact activate Benevolent Dawn on the Warlocks, clear as day. The text shows right up on your screen. The Jotun, however, does not activate Sun Warrior on Titans. I tried this a ton of different ways and no, it does not work. Cool theory though. Finally, one last thing, the Ace of Spades. Now I've gotten numerous pings about this gun and its hidden perk that it actually secretly has outlaw on it. Meaning that when you get a headshot kill, your reload speed goes way up. And I really hate to do this, but uh, yeah. If you open the weapon and uh, hover over the perk, that's actually right 
in the description of one of the perks on the weapon, fellas. But don't worry though, your identities will be protected for a small fee. Thank you all for watching today's content. If you think you know of a hidden perk on an exotic weapon or a legendary weapon, please let me know down below in the comment section. And to make things easier for me, tag it with hashtag I found a perk followed by your theory. It makes searching the comments easier for me. If you enjoyed today's video, please let me know by clicking the like button. And as always, if you haven't already, please click the big red subscribe subscribe button. I've realized lately that I am dangerously close to 200,000 subs, which is amazing. And I would love to hit that number somehow, if possible. You can consider it an early Christmas gift. That's right. Cancel those nudes you were planning on sending me. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.